Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty and fashion videos as well as lifestyle vlogs. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today is gonna be another foundation review. This is from a brand that I've never used before, so it's super exciting for me. But before we get started, I wanna welcome you guys back to Vlogmas, and today is day seven in Vlogmas, which means we need to unlock another day in our advent calendar. Okay, so let's open it up and find day seven. So we got day seven right here. So let's see what we got today. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. I'm so dramatic. Y'all, so what we got is the CEO Brightening Serum from Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. And I actually use this specific moisturizer. And actually, I'm out of it right now. I placed the order a little while ago because Sephora has that 20% off sale. And if you guys know anything about Sunday Riley, they're pretty expensive. But when I tell you what it does for your skin, it's just amazing. Their products are really, really great quality you guys this is actually my favorite moisturizer period out of any moisturizer that I use this is my absolute favorite I've been using it I want to say going on two years now maybe about a year and a half to two years now and I really like it the fact that I'm out of it right now and waiting on it to come in is like what are the odds so that's the really cool thing about the advent calendar is we don't know what's gonna come in there and some of this stuff might surprise you so I'm excited to use this tonight well I might use the Lemire tonight since I have that sample but I'm just glad to have this. If you guys have not tried this before, go to your local Ulta or Sephora and get a sample of this and try it out because it is quite expensive. Okay, socialites, so back to the subject at hand. I'm doing a review today of the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick. So this foundation is supposed to be a clean, high-performance foundation stick packed with nourishing ingredients for that second skin natural foundation look. I wanna tell you a little bit about a couple of the key ingredients, one being vegetable derived squalane, which helps prevent the loss of moisture. Another key ingredient is phytophingosine, which has skin smoothing and calming properties that's supposed to like reduce redness. Now this is a medium to full coverage foundation. I picked it up from Sephora and it retails for $68. So if you wanna see how I got this look and my thoughts on the Westman Atelier cream stick foundation then keep on watching okay so this is the actual packaging here so let's talk about it it's just a very super soft like between a pink and a cream color almost like my pompous plant but a little bit more pink to it sort of and they're nearly the same color so this is the packaging here. I did open it up yesterday and see that it's a very, very luxe packaging. It is magnet. So just that sort of neutral tone that's super chic, very pretty. It has like a chrome type pewter just like around the shaft of it with the gold there. And it's a stick foundation. So you just twist it up to use it. So you definitely don't want to twist it up too high. So about this much would probably be, you know, for good use. And then it also has Westman Atelier engraved like right in the side of it. It's just sort of engraved in there. So this is super, super nice. I did get the color X 1.5. I already have my skin moisturized. I have on the Lemire Soft Cream, which has my skin feeling like someone else's skin. <laughs> this has made my skin so super soft. I've never felt my skin feel like this it literally feels like baby skin to prime my face i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish spray and this could be used as a primer and a setting spray 
So we're gonna let this dry for a minute. Now, because this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation, I'm gonna start off with about two swipes on both sides. The website does recommend that you either use your fingers or their brush to apply the foundation. When I looked on the site, their brush was like one of those flat brushes, similar to something like this, the flat foundation brush but it was a little bit thicker. I don't really prefer to use those kind of brushes for foundation. So I'll be using my Real Techniques brush. This one is the buffing brush from Real Techniques. So this texture does feel really, really creamy and soft on the skin. This foundation is extremely easy to blend out. My brush is very soft. It doesn't apply a lot of pressure at all. So the fact that it's moving around and blending so easily with such a soft brush just lets me know how blendable the actual foundation is. So with two swipes, I feel like this gives me about a medium coverage. The coverage is very beautiful. I do like the coverage, but if you want full, I would recommend that you do about three swipes on both sides. So let's see what this foundation can do. We'll go ahead and add another swipe. Now this foundation does come in 21 shades and about half of them I feel like can go for African American skin tones, which is super impressive. For concealer today, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Concealer. This is the Faux Filter Concealer in the color 6.5G. I'm gonna wet my Beauty Blender sponge with a little bit more of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Spray. For cream bronzer, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Bronzer and a Real Techniques 200 brush. For inner corners, I'm going in with my Dior Backstage Concealer. This one is in the color 4N. To set our concealer today, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Loose Powder. This one is the Ultra Blur Powder. And my Beauty Blender Pocket Puff Sponge. And because I've noticed that setting my entire face sets just a smidgen too light when I use the Ultra Blur, I'm going in with the regular Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder for the rest of my face. The Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, and this one is in the color Happy. For the highlight today, I'm going in with a new product to me. This is the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury, and this one is in the color 2 Medium. And I'm just gonna lightly pounce that with the Real Techniques Beauty Blending Sponge, keeping it right in the same place, not moving it too far up or down. To bronze the skin, I'm gonna use a Sephora powder. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I actually got this to set my entire face. This one is in the color Ebony, but I realized it's too dark, so I'm gonna use it just to bronze a little bit more and deepen, sort of contour, just right, right underneath my cheekbones. It gives you that a very natural, bronzy look.
I'm gonna take a little bit of the Dior blush. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blush. Because this is about the complexion, I'm gonna finish my eyes and come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, socialites, so this is the final look. For the lip, I'm wearing Cork Lip Liner by MAC with half and half lipstick from MAC and a dark spicy cosmetics lip gloss and this one is in the color Taurus. So now that my makeup is completely done, I must say I do like the color. I would not exchange this for a different color. Like I feel like the color is absolutely perfect. And the finish is definitely a natural finish. This is giving skin. Obviously we know it's not skin, especially because we made it full coverage by using three swipes instead of two. But with two swipes, you can definitely see your skin through the foundation slightly. Um, if you want to completely cover your skin, use about three swipes and it will give you this look, which still looks pretty natural in my opinion. So far, it looks really nice. I'm interested in seeing how long this foundation lasts because the website did not specify the longevity of the foundation. So we will be the judge of that. It is now 11 o'clock a.m. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and I'll come back and let you guys know my final thoughts. Okay, socialites, so I am back and it is almost six o'clock. So it is about seven hours, a little less than seven hours later. And I can say that I was pleasantly surprised by this foundation and the way it performed. As far as oxidation, the foundation did not get any darker and I have not gotten oily at all. Now I don't have oily skin, I have a normal skin, but usually around that six to eight hour mark, I will start to see shine come through. And you guys, I have not blotted the entire day have not touched my face since the last time I saw you guys and this is what I have. Nearly no shine. I do like how a little bit of the healthy glow, I didn't put the highlighter here, I put it like more so up here. So I do like how the natural oils let my just natural glow start to show through slightly, but other than that, it's great. I would definitely say that this foundation is oily skin approved. If you have really, really oily skin, I would suggest that you put your favorite mattifying primer underneath. If you're somebody that has really dry skin, I would definitely moisturize well and use a regular primer, not one that's like super matte or drying. If you found this review helpful, I would love for you to consider subscribing for more. I'll be releasing a video every single day in the month of December. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on tomorrow. Cause I've been where you are. Too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars What I don't have the answers